I am making a Gate Guardian Chimera deck profile. I finally managed to get all the Chimera stuff, and I thought I would try testing it with Gate Guardian just to see what happens. Just because I've been wanting to mess around with the Gate Guardian stuff for a while and thought I could use this as an excuse. Anyway, starting off with the monsters, I play three copies of Cornfield Codal. Cornfield Codal, I honestly think, is a really good monster of having the effect that if a battle's a monster, you need to can be destroyed by that battle. You can only use each of the following effects per turn, where you can discard it to then add a monster that mentions Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand, as well as it also having the effect of when your opponent activates a card or effect, targets a card you control. While you control a Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, you can banish this card from your graveyard, or from your hand or graveyard, and negate the activation if you destroy that card. So I just like that it's, you're able to discard it to search for the next copy, which is Gazelle, the King of Phantom Claws. And it's also a negation in the graveyard. Which I play three copies of Gazelle, the King of Phantom Claws. Phantom Claws has the effect that when it's normal summon, normal or special summon, you can add a level 5 or Fiend or Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand. Which, if I remember correctly... Nope. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, its other effect is that if it's sent to the graveyard as fusion material, then you can add an illusion monster from your deck to your hand. You can use each effect of Zell once per turn. And then I play three copies of Mirror Sword Knight. Mirror Sword Knight has the effect of this card battles a monster and your player is destroyed by that battle. Which, the main thing I like about that te line is that if you have it in defense position, your opponent can't destroy it in battle because neither player can be destroyed in its battles. Anyway. The rest of its effect is quick effect. You can tribute this card, especially on a monster from your deck that mentions Chimera Fusion, except for Mirror Sword Knight. And then when you monster, when a monster your opponent controls act its effects while you control Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, you manage this card from your graveyard, from your field or grave, to get that effect. So I just like this card because it's a graveyard ghost ogre. Or so I think it said destroy. When you monster your opponent controls, activate its effect. Or control. So negate that effect. Okay, never mind. You negate, you don't destroy. I can't read apparently. You know, I just read on them. Then I play three copies of Big Winged Burfamit. Burfamit has the effect of this card's normal or special summon. You can add one level four or lower monster or one chimera fusion from your deck to your hand. Also, you can not special summon the extra deck for this turn except for fusion monsters, which. With how I built this deck, everything's the fusion monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard as fusion material, as material for a fusion summon, you can target an illusion monster in your graveyard to summon it. You can only use this effect of big wing birth from it once per turn. And then I also play three copies of Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. This just searches for the, your field spell. And then it, while a... Let's see, what was it again? While a Labyrinth Wall card... You are, bleh, I can't read. If an opponent's monster battles, you can banish this card can, from your graveyard while you control a Labyrinth Wall card to destroy the, the opponent monster. You can use each effect once per, once per turn. Then I play three copies of Labyrinth Heavy Tank. Heavy Tank can be normal summon without tributing. However, and then I believe its other effect, as long as I remember correctly. Okay, you cannot attack the turn, it is normal summoned. And then once per turn, you can take a Kazuchin Suijin or Song of the Thunder that is banished in your graveyard or deck. I think that's how that works. It's banished in your hand or deck, and then place it face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. Then I play two copies of Kazuchin, two copies of Suijin, and two copies of Song of the Thunder. These. All three of these monsters have the same effect. They're just pieces from Gate Guardian, where they all share the effect of once walls face up on the field during damage calculation only. If they are attacked by an opponent's monster, you can make the opposing monster's attack zero. And that's it. They are not very good, but I do like them simply because of the fact that they are Gate Guardian pieces and they are important for some of your Gate Guardian monsters. For the spells, I play one copy of Terraforming just so I can get to Labyrinth Wall Shadow faster. 
Then I play two copies of Sacred Solar Seven Stars. This lets you banish a level seven monster from your hand or face up field to draw two cards. You can wait one per turn. Then I play three copies of Labyrinth Wall Shadow. The dumb card this card part of this card that I think of is that it's not a once per turn. So if you have multiples of the field spell, you can use its effect multiple, multiple, multiple times a turn. But the hell? I apologize for the dogs going insane. But it has the effect that monsters cannot attack the turn they're summoned unless they're level five or higher. And then during your main phase, you can take a Sangha, Suijin, or Kazijin and place them face up in your spell and trap zones continue your spells. At the start of your opponent's battle phase, you target one monster your opponent controls with less than 1600 attack and destroy it. Next, I play three copies of Double Attack Wind and Thunder. Wind and Thunder has the effect that if you control a Gate Guardian monster, you can target one card in the field and destroy it, and then during your main phase, you this card from your graveyard to add a Sangha, Kazijin, or Suijin that's banished or in your deck to your hand. You can only use each you can only use that effect at double attack thunder when once per turn. I specified that effect because if you have multiple thunder and winds, you can use them multiple times a turn. You just can't use the grave effect more than once. Then I also play three copies of Chimera Fusion. Chimera Fusion has the effect that during the main phase you can fusion summon a monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field material, including a fiend or beast monster. And in your main phase, if this card's in your graveyard and you have a Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, on your field or in your graveyard, you can activate one of these the following effects, which is either add it to your hand or banish it to a special summon both Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, and Burfamit in your deck graveyard. Which, I don't have Gazelle or Burfamit, so... You're only ever returning it to your hand. Then I play three copies of Fusion Deployment. This just lets you reveal a Fusion Monster from your extra deck. Summon one of its mentioned materials from your deck. And then you're locked into Fusions for the rest of the turn. You can only activate one per turn. And like I said, the entire extra deck is Fusion. And then I play two copies of Prey of the Jirai Gumo. This it, card sums it's, is a trap that summons itself as a monster. And then also destroys one monster your opponent controls in its column. So if you're playing song using Lynx, you put this in one of the extra monster zones, take up the other one, and now you're guaranteed to destroy it with its effect. And it also has the same grave effect as uh, Double Attack, Wind, and Thunder. Then to finish off the main deck, I play three copies of There Can Be Only One, just because every monster in this deck Minus Mirror Knight and Cornfield are all different monster or different types of monsters. As those two monsters are the only monsters in the deck that share the same typing. So that's it for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck. The extra deck I play three copies, a Gate Guardian of Wind and Water. I think this is one of the funniest negation cards, as it is a spell trap negate. Once per chain, twice per turn. That's the main thing that makes me laugh, is that it can negate spells traps twice per turn, but only once in a chain. It's meaning like if you go if your opponent activates something like Harpy's Feather Duster, you chain this to negate, and they chain infinite impermanence, which I don't that wouldn't really work unless they already have board established. This will not be able to negate the infinite impermanence. I believe, though, if you had a second one, you'd be able to. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, no, you would not be able to because it is a hard twice per turn. Then I play three copies of Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. This lets you add any spell or trap that mentions Gate Guardian from your deck to your hand. And you can use that effect once per turn. Then I play one copy of Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder. This just makes so that you once per turn, er, once per turn. I believe it was twice per turn. Once per chain. Blah, blah, blah. You can only use it twice per turn. Okay. So basically, this has the effect that twice per turn, once per chain, you can target one monster your opponent controls, reduce attack to zero. And then all three of these monsters share the effect that they are. Leave, I can't remember if it's. it's it wasn't. 
as long as you control these monsters and they are sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, or they leave the field by an opponent's card effect, then you can summon one of their pieces that's banished. Then I also play two copies of Gate Guardians Combined. This has the same removal effect as the other three, where if it leaves the field, you summon a Gate Guardian that is level 11 or lower from your deck, or from your deck, extra deck, or banish. And then it is a thrice per turn targeting negation. And then I play three copies of Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts. The King of Phantom Beast is always treated as Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. And it also has the effect of... You can only use each of its following effects per, once per turn. Or if this card is Fusion Summon, you can activate its effect. So you can send one card from your opponent's hand at random to the graveyard. And then during the end phase of this turn... Or... You activate its effect so that at the end phase of the turn, your opponent sends a random card from their hand to the graveyard. And then during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you banish this card from your graveyard, then target one beast, fiend, or illusion monster in your graveyard and special summon it. But the main reason you play three of this one is for your one, your three copies of Chimera, the illusion beast. Ideally, two of these would be, uh, or one or two of them would end up being Guardian Chimera. I just don't have any Guardian Chimera, so I'm not using it, but ideally they would be Guardian, or at least one would be Guardian Chimera. But this monster has the effect of its name becomes Chimera the, fl myth or the Flying Mythical Beast while it's on the field or in the graveyard. This card can attack all monsters uh, all monsters a number of times each battle up to the number of materials used for its summoning, which requires Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast and one or more illusion monsters. But and then it also has the effect that if this card battles a monster, neither monster can be destroyed by that battle, which is an effect shared by most of the illusion monsters at the moment. And at the end of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can change that opponent's monster attack to zero, also negate its effects. So this is just here because if you summon this using at least three monsters, meaning Chimera and two other illusion monsters, then this can just attack one monster three times and you just win. But that's it for my Ki Gate Guardian Chimera deck profile. If you have any ideas what I can do to improve the deck, any ideas for decks likes to be made in the future, or decks I could see face each other, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching.